This is close to the real thing that we can actually get. But the only thing that doesn't move is the chair. But. This is where locomotive engineers, train drivers, come to learn how to drive the electric trains here in Wellington. And this is Simon. Simon, tell us a little bit about how the simulator works. Yeah, the simulator works. Um, it's a really good tool that we use um, regarding if we do refreshes or for one of the new guys, um, they come on onto the, um, they've been at Ellie, it's a really good tool. So it just gives them a rough uh, idea what the train outside looks like and the setup that we have inside the cab. So, but yeah, it's a really good tool that we use. And there's fantastic visuals. You get to see just what the driver would see and all the controls as well. And you looked at train control for real just before. There's a simulated train control in the other room. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So we call that the control room so the guys can make different scenarios up. We can change the weather, different, um, the weather, the fog, the rain. Uh, we can actually do tsunamis. Uh, there's heaps of stuff that we can actually um, build into the computer. So it just gives the guys some different opportunities and obviously we use it as refreshers as well. So yeah, it's, it's a really, really good tool that we have up here in our training room. Yeah, and the trainers have to do what Simon's doing right now and multitask, so he's driving as well as talking to us and responding to any of those changes and conditions that train control is giving him. So major advantages over just sending out someone on a train? Oh, most definitely, yeah. It just gives them a, a bit of an insight to what could happen out there. Um, it's realistic as possible we can, but um, the only thing that doesn't move is the chair, and it's a feel, but the guys get to have a feel of what it's actually like um, once they're on board. Is it they're teaching the next stage is that early as for that sign-off. Fantastic. Oh, well, thanks for sharing that, Simon. No worries. Thank you very much.